So, something's been bugging me about the way fretless bass is taught. Often the way it's taught doesn't actually teach bass players the single most important skill they need if they're gonna become great fretless players. So in this lesson, I'm gonna show you what I think is the single best fretless exercise ever that's gonna help you develop this skill. So what's my big problem with the way fretless is taught? I've seen a lot of people say online that playing fretless is just a matter of having good spacing technique on your fretting hand. So knowing where the in-tune positions to play each note are and locking that into your muscle memory. Now this isn't completely wrong, there's an element of truth to it and that's backed up by the fact that you often see fretlesses like this that have got lines on them to mark out where the in-tune notes are. However, the problem with this approach is it doesn't give you the full skill set you need to properly play fretless bass. On a fretted bass, you can take the tuning and intonation of it for granted because as long as you tune the instrument properly beforehand, you don't really have to worry so much about where you put your fingers because it's the frets that will keep the notes in tune for you. Playing fretless, even one that's got markers like mine, is a very different thing. And I'm gonna demonstrate exactly how different it is, believe it or not, with a spatula. So what am I gonna do with this? I'm gonna balance it on one finger. So this spatula, represents your tuning and intonation. And my ability to balance it on one finger, steady, is gonna represent whether or not I'm in tune. So the thing to take away here is that I constantly have to pay attention to this spatula. Even when it's balanced, I have to monitor it. Even if I wanna try and do something else at the same time, like talk to a camera, I cannot at any point take the balance of the spatula for granted, because if I do, I'll stop paying attention to it and it will fall. So what does this mean for you as someone who wants to improve your fretless playing? It means that this idea of just having good spacing or always playing on the lines isn't enough because it just teaches you where to put your fingers. It doesn't teach you to properly listen to the notes that you're playing. So what we need is an exercise that teaches us to constantly monitor and listen to the tuning of all the notes that we play. And this is what we're gonna look at next. So just before we start this exercise, I wanna give a quick shout out to a bass player here in London called Daft Lewis, who originally showed me this as a double bass exercise, but it's also brilliant for fretless. The exercise involves you taking a recorded melody, and this can be from either recording that you know, a jazz standard, a play along like the Abersold, or you can program one into Logic like I've done here. And what you want to do is play along to that melody and try and match the tuning as you go. But the reason why this exercise is so great is it's going to force you to check in on your tuning. If your tuning doesn't correspond to that of the melody, you'll hear about it and you'll know about it. But it'll also give your ears that reactive quality that you need so badly for fretless playing and that you can't get from just putting your fingers in the right place. Now, if you wanna take this exercise a step further, try playing along to some of the Abersold backing tracks that don't have melodies. If you play the melody and you've gotta tune it against the chords, that's gonna be an even greater test because you're not gonna be supported by a melody that you're ghosting. It's just you and the chord, which is a really, really great test. I've left links below to the Abersold recordings and the real book if you need material to check out. If you are gonna try this exercise, tell me by leaving the comments and thumbs up down below. And if you've enjoyed this video, then please do consider subscribing because it really helps the channel out. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you very soon. Take care.